America, let me talk to y'all for a minute. Oh, we're about to be interrupted because in about five seconds, Jordan's gonna come home from school and yell, Hey, Uncle Gordon, do we have anything to eat in here? Well, I ain't gonna ask him because... Never mind, I got it. See, my point is, America, Bernie Mac knows what's going on in his house. <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey, honey, guess who's going to the senior prom? How can Junior go to the senior prom? I can go with one of the seniors who asked me. Seniors? Plural. Then hell to the nose. Can't they tell how young you are, Nessa? You ain't going on no doggone senior prom. Those boys on the prom night don't want them but one thing. Oh, come on, honey. Look, the prom is a high school girl's time to be a princess. Don't take that from her. I ain't trying to take nothing. I'm trying to help the girl keep it. Come on, that didn't happen to me on my prom. Woman, you went to a school with academy in the name. These boys today got game, and I don't trust them. Well, when are you going to trust me? America, I know Nessa. And I know she's not out there like that. But you have to understand, it's my job to stay in her business. And more importantly, to make sure she knows I'm staying in her business. See, when a father has a boy, he only has one penis to worry about. But when he has a girl, he has everybody's penis to worry about. See, it's part of my job. All right, Nessa. You can go on the prom, only if I can meet all the boys. Why, so you can pry like you always do? If they ain't got nothing to hide, ain't nothing to worry about. Trust me. OK. Couch. Why, well, what, what happened? Oh, honey, it's just a sprain. But you know what the good news is? Is she is MVP of the league championship. Yeah, I scored three goals. Three goals. Wow. Would you look at that MVP? Shoot, girl, you're almost as bad as that uh, black guy that played on that pro uh, soccer team. Uh, what's his name? Uh, baby, to do with the, with the socks. Hmm, you okay, baby? But you know what? They said it's just her ankle. She just has to stay off of it for a while. Hmm. Hey, those are mine. Come on, show some respect for the MVP. But yeah, go in the kitchen, make yourself useful. Bring back a soda, whatever else you can find. Hurry up. That's so daring. Stop trying to have sex with my niece. Enjoy the prom, Vanessa. <laughs> One down. Who's next? See, I told you he'd mess everything up. Now no one's gonna want to take me. Oh, come on, honey. You're supposed to meet the boys, not scare them off. They were survival of the fittest. Me and nature helping her choose. Honey, this is Vanessa's decision to make, okay? We want her to have some choices left. So crazy it down a notch. Hello, Mr. Mac. It's all wrong. <laughs> but I go by lemon lime in the industry. Is that right? Yeah, I'm a turntablist. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so, let me lie. You the kind of cat that got all the kids squirming on the dance floor, right? <clears throat> Mr. Mack, you are the funniest brother in Hollywood. Everything you say is hilarious. Is that right? Is teen pregnancy funny? <laughs> <laughs> Look here, man, I ain't trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a point, man. <laughs> That's the face. You're doing the face. Hold on, wait. Classy. Who you with? <laughs> America, this boy has no natural fear. And Wanda tied my hand so I couldn't put it in him. You can't trust somebody who doesn't know when to be afraid. Who you with? <laughs> and I ain't that funny. <laughs> Jason. <clears throat> Let me go through the restrictions on anyone who wants to take my niece to the prom. The two of them could never be alone. Not in the room, not in the car, not at the prom, not after the prom. Not here, not there, not anywhere. That's not a problem, Mr. Mack. I, I keep pretty strict dating rules myself. Uh, for instance, I won't go into a girl's house if her parents aren't home. 
I believe in hands-free kissing, and I only date in groups. What's the catch? I'm a Christian. I know a lot of people say that, but it's important for me to walk the walk. So that means you are... No, 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 no. I'm a Democrat. No, fool. I mean, you are... Oh, uh, yeah, a practicing one. Forget about scaring them off. I actually want this one to stay. But I can't let Nessa know I like him. Well, she'll pick Tyrone just to spite me. No, no. I got to play this from the sideline and make sure Jason's the one she picks. Have you chosen prom date yet? No, but if you must know, I'm leaning towards Tyrone. Mm. What was that? Well, it's just, that's a pretty dress right there. Hmm. I like the other one better. She's leaning towards Tyrone. Well, the Mac Man gotta make sure she leans towards Jason. Tyrone short. That boy got smooth in his DNA. Now I trust him even less. I know he's the front runner, but see, I need to put Jason on top. America, let's just hope I'm not too late. It's from Daddy. Princess, this is the hottest toy out, but I spare no expense for you. Get well and Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. What's a Robo Sapien? Only the coolest thousand. Shut up and give me another soda. Look, I'm pulling for you, boy. But you falling so behind in this race, man, that's gonna have to call you like last week just to tell you no. Don't worry, Mr. Mac. <laughs> My game's pretty tight. Is that right? <laughs> Show me what you're working with. Okay. First, I make sure the girl sees me as a friend. Mm -hmm. Then I go in and Wait, I wait, just... wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't tell me. You're gonna come to her like a brother. Yeah, how'd you know? Son, if you do that, the next thing you know, she's gonna be coming to you for advice, asking you about the guy she really like. Not again. Yeah, again. Look, luckily I'm your ace in the hole. I can help you get Nessa. I can tell you what she like, what she don't like, and I can especially tell you what makes her mad. I can help you get this girl, man. All you need is a little coaching. I don't know. That sounds like cheating. No more cheating when God help David beat Goliath. When God help the White Sox win the series. I don't think he helped them. Hey, hey, yes, he did. Hey, Vanessa. You know, since I spin, I got all the jams. Just come by and uh, dig through my crates sometime. <laughs> Thanks. I'll think about it. You never know. I might just be the one, the one, the one. India, are you? I love her. 
especially that last album. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the one about relationships? Ripped it. Most people think it's about relationships, but if you really listen, it's about knowing yourself first. Exactly. I know exactly who I'm going to the prom with. Hey, now we can double date with you and Tyrone. Actually, I decided to go with Jason. He seems to care about me more. And Tyrone just cared about the prom. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, yeah, typical. <laughs> hey, you think I can... I already told him to call you. <laughs> oh, Jason, what's up, baby? Man, congratulations. I just heard the news, man. You and Nessa, I want y'all to enjoy yourself on the prom. Actually, Mr. Mack, it's not that simple. Since my parents heard Vanessa wants to go with me, they want to meet... They want to meet Nessa. I'll be done. No, they want to meet you. What the hell they want to meet me for? Well, they're suspicious of Hollywood families. Huh. And they only know you from your movies, like Players Club, How to Be a Player, Bad Santa. Wow. Yeah, I see your point. Well, what about Ocean Eleven? They like that one? The one where you're part of a gang of thieves? No, they don't want to see that one. Ocean 12, that's a better one. The one where you're part of an international gang of thieves. Sweet Jesus. Damn. Don't worry, Mr. Mack. This time, I'll coach you. Damn. So, um, what denomination are you? Sir, we are Methodists. I mean, uh, no, uh, I'm a joke. No, that's my auntie. She's a joke. Um, Cap. Baptist. First Baptist. What's the day's day? Oh. <clears throat> when you ask that question, exactly what do you mean? I think that uh, she was baptized. Um, uh, no, that's when she got her shots. <laughs> she said, yes, yes. I thought you might need this. Oh, thank you, son. That's a good boy. He's a real good boy. Uh, and, and Matthew 6, 33, sums up the philosophy in which we were discussing this evening. He's right. America is Nessa prom night, but I'm just as excited as she is because my plan worked. She chose Jason, and that means I won't spend all night worrying about what they're up to. Nope, not tonight. I'm just as relaxed as a father of an ugly fat girl. All right, kid, let me hear you say mac and cheese. Vanessa, over here. Come on, look this way. One more time over here. One more. All right, one more time over here. Over here, over here. That's Don and Tyrone with the limo. Let's go. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. I want you all to have a great time, OK? Remember when I told you, what would Jesus do? Finally, I couldn't see the TV. Jordan, my pillow's too cold. It's hurting my sprained foot. Did you hurt your foot or your ankle? Uncle Bernie! Is that better? <laughs> oh, she'll bring back memories, America. <laughs> Look at it. Uh-oh, uh-oh! I was fly once in America. Let me tell y'all something about the Mac Man. You talk about running game on the ladies? See, I used to find out all about the girl I wanted to. <laughs> you know. See, I learned what she liked, what she didn't like, her hobbies. You name it. Come to think of, that's the same doggone thing I told Jason about Nessa. Well, I'm tripping, huh? Yeah, America. But Jason, he's a totally different boy than I was. Wait a minute. You know, just speed it up a little bit and loop it for me. He's still a boy. He's still a boy. Lord. Meg, I gave him the keys to Nessa Kingdom. She don't stand a chance. Would you look, look at it, look at this. Look, look. He gon' he gonna get it. He gon' get it. Wanda. I just I'm 
baby, I got a funny feeling about this Jason fella, you know? What if this Jesus stuff is just a front? It wouldn't be the first or last time it worked. You know what they say about preacher kids. What has gotten into you? Up until now, you was rooting for this girl to go out with this boy. Now, all of a sudden, you don't trust him. I said the first time I changed my mind about somebody. You know I don't like people. Everything's gonna be okay. They're just gonna dance, drink a little punch, and then they're gonna come home. Yeah, you right. Okay. Yeah, you right. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. You see this? Oh, that's in the Bible. And look at this part here, talking about her breasts and then plucking off her garden. It's highlighted. Maybe we should stop. Yeah, we better. Unless you want to get married tonight. <laughs> Honey, wait. I thought we were taking a drive to clear your head. Once my head got clear, I remember where I was going. OK, what are you planning on doing? I'm just going to take a peek inside, make sure everybody where they're supposed to be. Come on. But what if she sees you? Don't worry, I'll be real smooth. Real smooth. Baby. Uh. Ain't this their limo? That's the license plate. I told you. I told you. Open up. Separate. Open up. I be. Where's Nessa? I don't know. The limo was empty when we came out. Yo, get out of here. Get out. Right now. Out. Oh, glad you came when you did. <laughs> she was trying to put a full court press on her brother. Man, get out of here. Get out. <laughs> There's Vanessa over there. See, honey, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Doggone Wanda, you were right. Look at her hand above the waist. Just enough for some light to get between them. I just had to see for myself, though. Look at her, she looks beautiful. Doesn't she? Would there be anything else? What about you, Robo Burp? <laughs> no, we're good. Dismissed. Very well, then. But there is another feature on Robo Sapien that you may find interesting. I got suspicious when I saw you were elevating the wrong ankle. Are you going to tell Aunt Wanda and Uncle Bernie? It's up to you. What do you want? A burger. But this time with a better attitude. No sauce on either. I had a great time. Me too. Thanks. No, he didn't. Open up. I can't believe you're spying on me. Um, <clears throat> you forgot your Bible. We were just reading the 103rd Psalm. Praise him. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, that's the sound for a minute, please. Nessa, I know you're upset with me, and that's okay. I know I embarrassed you in front of all your friends. I'm sorry about that. But I'm not sorry about being concerned for your well-being. You see, you're not the first 17-year-old I had to look after. I had to look after your mother. But unfortunately, I had to watch her close enough. I'm not going to slip up my job this time. Don't you think I learned a lot from what happened to my mom, too? 
When are you going to trust me to make my own decisions? Peoples don't understand that uh, um, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's John 3.16. And it also say in Deuteronomy, uh, better yet, I can smoke a cigarette. If I, if I smoke, I will smoke a cigarette.